Hello dear all welcome to Sandeep Education Academy I am Santosh Wag here we will see question under try this section page number 94 chapter squares and square root so let's start our video see the next question under try this section page number 94 question is find whether each of the following number is a perfect square or not here numbers are given and what is asked find whether it is perfect square or not so we have one statement what that statement says i will write here the statement says sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square means if we add the natural numbers odd natural numbers starting with 1 we get the perfect square numbers and reverse of this if we subtract the odd natural number starting with 1 then we must get 0 at the end so that we can say it is a perfect square if the subtraction is not 0 then that number is not perfect square see there are two statements sum of first n odd natural numbers is 1 odd numbers means which are the odd numbers just see odd numbers start with 1 3 5 7 9 11 and like this these are the odd numbers so what that statement says first n odd numbers if we take the first three numbers 1 2 3 these are the first three numbers if we add these odd numbers add this 1 plus 3 plus 8 1 plus 3 plus 5 sorry so we get which value we get 9 we get 9 we are here adding first three natural numbers we are adding first first three odd numbers here we we have added first three odd numbers starting with 1 so summation of these will be n square here n is 3 so summation will be 3 square that we are getting here this statement says what says add the first n take the one more example we will add first five natural numbers five odd numbers always remember we must start with 1 so first five odd numbers starting with 1 these are 1 3 5 7 9 these are the first five odd numbers so if we add these we must get as we are adding five numbers we must get the five square summation must be five square that is 25 so if we add these 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 7 16 16 plus 9 is 25 so this statement we have proved with small examples and reversely what is the reverse say if a natural number cannot be expressed as a sum of successive odd numbers starting with 1 then it is not a perfect square it is reversely of this statement if this 25 is if it is expressed as sum of odd numbers starting with 1 what is 25 says 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 so this is the 25th meaning we have added all odd numbers starting with 1 if we take 24 we cannot express like this we have to express 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 because it is less one number less so 8 is not a odd number means 24 cannot be expressed as sum of odd numbers starting with 1 so 24 is not a perfect square so we will use this statement to solve the our problems what is problem find whether each of the following number is a perfect square or not then 
how to find just subtract the odd numbers from this number starting with 1 so take first number 121 so here what we are doing just subtract number 1 121 minus 1 we get 120 then subtract next odd number next odd number is 3 we get 117 here we are subtracting natural numbers natural odd numbers starting with 1 we have subtracted 1 we got 120 then 120 minus 3 next odd number is 3 subtraction is 117 subtract 117 minus next odd number 5 numbers so just right here the answers 112 subtract next odd number we get 105 then 105 minus next odd number is 9 we get 96 then 96 minus next odd number is 11 subtract this 11 we get 85 then subtract next odd number 85 minus 30 so it will be 72 then next odd number will be 72 minus 13 next odd number is 15 so we get 57 then subtract next odd number 57 minus next odd number is we got 57 so 57 minus next odd number is 17 so we get answer 40 and then 40 minus next odd number is 19 we get 21 then 21 minus next odd number is 21 we get 0 here we are getting the answer 0 by subtracting odd numbers starting with 1 so this is a perfect square because this statement what statement says this is the sum of we are subtracting means we are taking the sum of these all odd numbers starting with 1 and as we are getting answer 0 this is a perfect square number now see the next number 55 second number for 55 we will follow the same procedure 55 minus 1 we are subtracting odd numbers starting with 1 we get answer 54 then 54 minus 3 here we get 51 51 minus next odd number is 5 we get 46 then 46 minus next odd number is 7 46 minus 7 39 next odd number is 39 minus 9 next odd number is 9 so we get answer 30 then 30 minus next odd number is 11 we get 19 then 19 minus next odd number is 13 we get answer 6 and then 6 minus next odd number is 15 here we are getting minus 9 means we are not getting answer 0 so 55 is not a perfect square number if we add all these natural numbers we will not get 55 so 55 is not a perfect square number see the next one third one 81 follow the same procedure 81 minus 1 we get 80 then 80 minus next odd number is 3 80 minus 3 we get 77 then 77 minus next odd number is 5 we get 72 72 minus 7 we get 65 then 65 minus next odd number is 9 we get 56 then 56 minus next odd number is 11 we get 45 then 45 minus next odd number is 13 we get 32 then 32 minus next odd number is 15 we get 17 and 17 minus next odd number is 17 
we get zero here we are getting answer zero means this is a perfect square number then see the next one fourth one 49 follow the same procedure 49 minus 1 we get 48 then 48 minus next odd number is 3 odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 8 like this and start with 1 here we get answer 45 45 minus 5 we get 40 then 40 minus 7 we get 33 then 33 minus next round number is 9 we get 24 then 24 minus 11 we get 30 and 13 minus next round number is 13 we get 0 here we are getting answer 0 so this is a perfect square number also you can find 69 is also not a perfect square number because if we subtract odd numbers starting with 1 we will not get answer 0 so 69, 69 is also not a perfect square number this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you